We did it. All three terminals activated. Let's go back to the core and report to the Master Diviner. Well done, all of you. I can sense the Matrix of Pressy now to interrogate Kafka. Those of you in the core may- Are you ready? <laughs> Is this really necessary? I have no interest in the words of wanted criminals, especially those skilled in the art of manipulation. So, say what you will. I'm here to witness the divination of the Matrix of Prescience. The Divination Commission has ways of extracting the truth, and they're far more effective than a conversation. Then please, Master Diviner, witness my destiny. Not what you were expecting. I can't believe it. But the Matrix of Prescience cannot be wrong. Kafka has nothing to do with Estelaron, but you... Ha! Absurd! I'd never have thought it. Ask her yourself. Take as long as you wish. I must report this to the General immediately. Please excuse me. You go ask her. I know you still have many questions for Kafka yourself. Hi. <sighs> you haven't changed a bit. Oh, I'm sorry you have to see me in such a sorry state. Really? Well, that's good. I wouldn't want to affect your image of me. I didn't talk to you on the train because I knew you and I would get to talk alone here. Worth waiting for, don't you think? You seem to have a lot to ask me. Elio said he foresaw three questions, but they would be the same in essence. If I were to hear one of them, I would then tell you the objective of this trip in all its detail. Since you asked one of the three questions, it means everything is going smooth. Cienjo's Stellaron problem is not directly linked to us. But if you look at it from Elio's perspective, you can't say the Stellaron hunters are completely innocent. We foresaw all this long ago but chose to remain indifferent until the time was right for us to get involved. Diviner Fu was surprised because she discovered three truths. One, the Stellaron Hunters are not enemies of the Sienjo. You know this now, though you refuse to believe it. And two, someone else brought the Stellaron into the Sienjo and activated it. A result of both internal unrest and external aggression. Traitors on the Lafu and enemies from outside want to overthrow the Sienjo. The Master Diviner is in a hurry to find the General. However, that's all the Master Diviner knows. Because Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. He foresaw the Divination Commission using the Matrix of Prescience against me. 
To guard against setbacks, he ensured that I knew only what he wanted the Cienjo Alliance to know in this moment. As for number three, even in their wildest dreams, the Cienjo Alliance could never have guessed it. <laughs> If the Stellaron Hunters aren't the cause of all this, then why are Blady and I even here? We're here for you. Sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's no wonder Fushen doesn't believe it either. But the Matrix of Prescience doesn't lie. The answer is just that bizarre. The Stellaron Hunters appearing here, Blady getting arrested, me being lured to the Matrix of Prescience. It was all to bring you, the Astral Express crew, to the Cienjo. In the future that Elio chose, the power of the hunt is indispensable. And that's why the Astral Express crew had to come to the La Fu and achieve something important for the Sienjo. You had to establish a connection with the Alliance. And that's why I had to trick you into coming here. <laughs> I needed you to meet the Lafu's general in person and to help him resolve the Stellaron crisis. I needed the Alliance to owe you a favor. That way, in the future, at the most critical moment, the Cienjo will offer you their help. What do you think? Surprised? The notorious Stellaron Hunters did all that just to make you a hero of the Cienjo? <laughs> Quite the plot twist, don't you think? <sighs> like I said, Elio withheld key pieces of information from me. The future holds endless possibilities. Knowing the right thing at the wrong time could spoil all our hard work. There is only one thing I can tell you about the future. In the best and the worst cases, you will eventually have to face Nanook the destruction. And when that time comes, you will need all the help you can get. It will be a brutal struggle of Ionic proportions. Proportions that neither you, nor I, nor the Astral Express will ever be able to reach. In the vast majority of futures, that's when destiny ends. But if we follow Elio's plan, there may be a glimmer of hope on the horizon. You know, even eons can be killed. Locha, hey, you didn't finish telling us about the propagation. Keep going, it's interesting. So, neons can die, huh? Weird. I thought they were invincible. <laughs> there is no true invincibility or immortality in the world. Such exaggerations are born of the perspectives of ordinary beings. Nonetheless, ordinary beings could not have orchestrated the fall of the propagation. That eon was slain at the hands of another eon. I don't understand. They're all eons. Why do they want to fight? You... Are you really from the Xianzhou? Other eons aside, surely you must know the story of Lan and Yaosha. Isn't destroying the Eon Yausha the Alliance's cherished aim? Of course I know. Well, I, I know a little. My mom made me practice with swords all day. I, I didn't really go to school. In that case, let's just change the subject. If you don't know about the feud between the hunt and the abundance, I'm afraid there's just too much to explain. Fine. How's this for a subject? What's in the box? Oh, this? 
one? <laughs> it's a casket, more commonly known as a coffin. It's for containing the remains of the deceased. The deceased? Aren't you a merchant? Yes, indeed. This is just part of my job. I was asked to deliver this coffin to the Xianzhou. Ah, I'd quite forgotten. For long life species, death is probably a distant concept. Nope. The Cloud Knights spend a lot of time on the battlefield. Death is a common occurrence. It's just, we don't put bodies in boxes. Uh, coffins. In the Sienjo, people go to the Hall of Karma in the Ten Lords Commission and consecrate the names and jade abacuses of the dead. And that's our way of saying goodbye. The Foxians and the Vidyodora have their own ceremonies. Foxian soldiers place their dead in star's gifts and then let them drift out into the stars. They call it the returning. As for the Vidyodora, they're more mysterious. They say that when a Vidyodora is very old or has a fatal injury, they turn into an egg that looks like a pearl. And when the shell breaks, they come out looking young again. My mom calls the Vidyodora Long Scions. When I was young, she told me stories of how the Vidyodora could turn into dragons. I don't know if that's true. What do you know? Silent but deadly speak. Your mother is right. The Vidyodora are long scions. They are descendants of the Eon of Permanence. That was why some, but not all, could turn into dragons. The power was a rare inheritance, passed down only to those who could successfully complete numerous rites and challenges. For the inheritor, it was hard to say whether it was a blessing or a curse. Ah, I've heard the story of Long the Permanence and their descendants. Many myths and legends praise the Eon for a rich and immortal life, but for some reason, the Eon disappeared among the stars without a trace. Almost as if they had never existed, leaving only their descendants. Every life has its limit. Even the eons are not truly immortal, and will eventually reach the end of their lives. Uh, let me ask you one more question. Do you know the person in the coffin? <laughs> A friend? No. So, uh, the sweetheart? <laughs> oh, miss, whatever gave you that impression? The individual in the coffin is neither friend nor relative. We met only once. By chance, I made someone a promise, and so I have to run this errand. Let's leave it at that, shall we? I think we've all had enough rest. Receive divinity. You're the best. We are not going anywhere. <laughs> Take this. Shape of surprise. Beat it. <laughs> oh. 
You bloom. Repay. Eternal slip. The dead return. Mara struck. It looks like someone's hurt. Wait. Let's think before we act. <laughs> Silent but deadly. Locha, let's charge in together. If we do. <laughs> what happened to. I've only got two hands. Enough. <laughs> Nothing major. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Wanna see what I can do? Eternal stay. Dead return! See any blood so my motor is broken are you a cloud knight i uh locha i'm sorry if i'd known i wouldn't i happen to have some medical knowledge well it's just she's a don't worry miss sushang you might get an aching or numbing sensation but it shouldn't be too it won't work my body is be it mechanical or organic, we're still dealing with composite substances. I just hope you'll... Uh, how... Oh, what kind of... Abundance. Hmm. hmm. Very good. We, uh... No As a judge in the employ of the Ten Lords Commission, I am forbidden from interfering in the affairs of outsiders. However, I came to address the root of our crisis by arresting a fugitive. A Stellaron hunter. This villain possesses exceptional swordsmanship and wields a divine weapon. <laughs> if it hadn't been for a strange act. Strange. <sighs> Come with me. anything you know even eons can be killed mm, that's right it would be impossible for a human, but then I didn't bring humans into the picture. Did Lon the permanence, Drilla the beauty, Anna the order, Tazeranth the propagation, Akivili the trailblaze? Hmm? These names were once known all over the universe. And now they've all but disappeared. Leaving behind only masterless paths. And currently, there are three ways an eon can perish known to humanity. One, paths with overlapping concepts will eventually collide. 
and the broader path will engulf the narrower one. That's how Enna the Order was assimilated by Shipe the Harmony. Two, in a war between eons, the stronger side will annihilate the weaker one. That's how Tazeranth the Propagation fell. Under the guidance of the hunt, the Sienjo Alliance travels the universe exterminating abominations cultivated by the abundance. So, the Sienjo too are engaged. I don't know. Akavili's disappearance was very mysterious. Noose is probably the only one that can answer that question. After all, Droid Head knows everything. What do you think? They're the kind of stories that folks on the straight and narrow would never tell you. Hold on. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Let's go, Blady. Two more places to visit. <laughs> uh, did Kafka escape? Uh, how are we going to explain this to the Master Diviner? If what she said is true, we won't have to explain anything. Hey, did she brainwash you?
Wasn't this the dead tree Ching Chue showed us earlier? <gasps> amazing! Absolutely amazing! Even the long-lived might not witness something like this in their lifetime! I'm so lucky! Such extraordinary energy. Mr. Yang, do you mean the Stellaron is making the Ambrosial Arbor grow? Yes, the Stellaron the Cloud Knights are searching for must be called. Strength. To guard and defend, crush them! 